So we're heading into Super Bowl 55. It's the biggest sporting event of the year. Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, Tampa Bay versus Kansas City. I'm here with John Crick, NFL columnist for Post Media Network. John, break down the biggest storylines of the game this Sunday. This is the 55th Super Bowl, Super Bowl LV. That's what it stands for. And this might be the most iconic quarterback matchup we've ever had in a Super Bowl. Tom Brady of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in his first year there after 20 years in New England going against Patrick Mahomes. As I called him the other day in a story, you've got the greatest quarterback of all time going against the greatest young quarterback in NFL history. What better matchup could you have? Okay, John. So let, let's get right into it. Break it down for me. What are the keys for the Bucks winning the game? What are the keys for the Chiefs winning the game? Well, they, these two teams did meet in November. Um, they're in opposite conferences, and, and teams in opposite conferences only play each other in the regular season every four years. This just happened to be the year when the Bucks played the Chiefs. And it was in late November, late season game, and the Chiefs destroyed the Bucks in the first half. Tyreek Hill, their little smurfy wide receiver, had 200 yards receiving, which is great in any game. He had it at the end of the first quarter. So they were blowing out Tampa Bay, but then the defense for Tampa Bay got under control a bit, and uh, Brady and the offense for the Bucks got coming up, and they actually made it kind of close by the end. So everyone's kind of wondering if you're trying to project or extrapolate that well, what's, what are we going to see in this game? Is it going to be a, a continuation of the late game, close battle, back and forth offenses? Or are the Chiefs now just going to figure out new ways now that they got some uh, game tape on the, this Tampa defense? Are they now just going to figure out, oh, okay, if we do this, 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 and this, we'll be blowing them out again. That, to me, is a real important storyline in this game. There's so many others, too. You know, can Brady still perform as he did the last time he was in the Super Bowl? You remember when they played the Rams just a couple of seasons ago? It was a 3-3 game until late. What did he do? Was Don Brady going to finally, in the last 10 minutes, become Tom Brady? Yeah. He threw a long pass to his tight end, Rob Gronkowski, who caught it between two defenders inside the five. That set up the winning points. And now what happened? Rob Gronkowski has come out of retirement and joined Brady on this year's Bucks team. So they're together again, these clutch performers. We've got that. We've got Patrick Mahomes, who just a year ago, and they've only lost one meaningful game since then in the last calendar year. They are now coming back with a quarterback who's equally adept and thrives in the clutch in the big moments as he pulled out that Super Bowl down two scores in the final six, eight, seven minutes of that game last year. So this could, you know, weather permitting, and it probably will be in mid-Florida, it's going to be the potential for an ultimate shootout. Oh, I got to get your pick. Who's going to win Super Bowl 55? I think with Brady's experience, that's a big help, and that'll keep them in the game. Now, it's a home game for them, too, and quite literally. They're staying at home. They're all sleeping in their own beds. They're not at a hotel or anything. It's in Tampa, the stadium. It's, that's where the game is. That will help them keep it close but somehow I got to think Patrick Mahomes is going to be able to just put up pull it out near the end I expect a shootout I expect it probably will go higher scoring than maybe even the the most optimistic of us think um, even though both defenses have, have good things to talk about but I think it'll be the Chiefs that pull it out in the end just like the year before okay thank you John for joining us today uh, be sure to check out John's coverage for everything Super Bowl related uh, on our website, torontosom.com. Thanks for watching.